Greetings, Internet. I am Ken from the Computer Clan, and today on Tidbytes, we're going to time travel back to the Next Step operating system and compare it to certain versions of Mac OS X. So, for people who use the Mac OS nowadays, you may not even really think about this, but a lot of the technologies, underpinnings, and interface elements and concepts that you're using now inside of the Mac OS actually originated from Next Step, which was made under the Next company that Steve Jobs ran while he was away from Apple. Apple later acquired Next Step and integrated a lot of their technologies and features into their operating system when they rewrote the Macintosh OS. We have our workspace, this is our desktop, this is the file viewer, and this is our menu system. There actually is a window that floats around separately that manages all of our menus, and I made it spaz out, so get back over there. So, you would navigate through menus like this, you would drag around windows like this, you have a little minimize and restore button, so you can click that, it goes down to the corner, double click it, and it goes back. In particular, we are using system release 3.3, and you may notice, for our first comparison, a little something on the side here, this is actually called the dock. Sound familiar? This was a feature that definitely made its way into OS X. It's a little bit different now, but the concept is still similar. A strip of icons that just attaches itself to a part of your desktop. So I can launch apps from here. I can also drag this actually and just kind of hide it like that if I just want to kind of hide it out of the way and drag it back up. Just a reminder, all the stuff that you're seeing goes back to the late 80s and early 90s. This technology was basically unheard of. The computers, the software, and the hardware was so advanced for the time, no one has seen a lot of this kind of technology before. Now, there were some issues with that. Sure, it was great technology, but it was very expensive, and sales of the Next computers started to fall flat, and actually, Steve Jobs relaunched Next as a software company later on before it was acquired by Apple. Notice when I drag a window around, the contents of the window drag around. We take that for granted nowadays. But back in the 90s, and especially the 80s, when you would drag a window around, it would drag a wireframe around. This actually is able to re-image the window with the refresh rate of the screen as you click and drag your cursor. This was virtually unheard of on computers. These are full 32-bit images moving around, real time. If you were doing this on a Mac, we'd be waiting till next week for these windows to repaint. So let's take a look at some apps. So here we have Edit. This is a text editor. And fun little tidbit, if you go to the info panels of certain apps, you will see the credits that show the people that work on the software. You will notice some names pop up. Patron Surlay, does that ring a bell? He was at Apple for quite a while after the next acquisition. He is not anymore but he was at a time. So this is a text editor. Uh, so we can we can type things and you know select our text and go to format, font, font panel. Oh, hey, does this look familiar? It should. This is very similar to how the font panel works in OS X. It is a standardized font panel that can be summoned in multiple applications. This is another thing we saw come through to Mac OS X. You know, it's just a standard color wheel. And you could have swatches. Developers can implement those into their applications. Developing apps was supposed to be a lot easier within the Next system. In fact, a lot of Xcode's inspiration came from Next Step. They even had an application called Interface Builder, which you use to build interfaces. And, you know, it's all object-oriented, so it was pretty easy to drag and drop controls and have stuff work. For the developers in the audience, they will recognize Interface Builder here. Every single application on Next is built using this tool. And it is sort of the frosting on top of this object-oriented cake that we have called Next Step. When they created this version for Next Step, well, let me compare it to Windows. They shipped their DOS Windows version recently. It took them 24 programmers over two years to do it. Their next version took them three programmers six months. And I believe they even have some demo apps on here. Let's see, demos. And you could test out some of this stuff like eh, chess. Hey, does that look familiar? Chess is also a standard app that comes inside of OS X. If you use Xcode, do you ever notice that a lot of things have the prefix NS? If you never knew what the NS stood for, it stands for next step. 
a lot of the current macOS stuff we use now, again, is rooted in Next Step. Boink out. Oh yeah. This kind of pays homage to Steve Jobs' work at Atari when he worked with Wozniak. Big air quotes on worked there. <laughs> he worked with Wozniak to basically develop the, the game Breakout. So another thing you'll notice is that hide button you'll keep seeing in the menus there. So let's say I open up the mail application. I can hide it and just kind of hides in the background, just like Mac OS X. We have those hide menus. We have those services menus, very similar to how Mac OS is. We can pick a word like success and go use services again to look it up in Webster's. And here's the word success. Uh, scroll bars, this was interesting. Um, they would appear on the left side. Using Next Step's advanced object technology, you can develop powerful, easy to use client server business applications very rapidly. Like I was talking about earlier, object oriented programming. Oh look, I opened that attachment. It's a TIFF. What's the name of the application? Preview. Boom, boom. Sound familiar? Preview is an image and PDF viewer inside of Mac OS. So, cool, cool. Again, I could just hide that or I could quit it. And let's open up Grab. Again, another utility inside of Mac OS. In fact, there's a little icon animation in Mac OS that originated from Next Step. It's still in Mac OS. I'm on Sierra and it's still there. Check this out. So if I were to take a screenshot, for example, so let's say grab, and we're going to do screen. I can click this, see the eyeball? That animation and graphic is actually still in the Mac OS today. Pretty funny. So that's a little creepy, so we're gonna quit out of that. And yes, I wanna quit anyway, because I don't wanna save that screenshot. Also notice these applications have the .app file extension. Applications inside of Mac OS have a .app file extension. So I hope you enjoyed the demo and I hope you enjoyed seeing comparisons as to how certain macOS features and designs came to be. Now stick around because I do have a fun blooper I wanted to share with you while recording this. And if you want to stay in touch with us and get more educational and entertaining content sent right to you through YouTube, feel free to subscribe today and leave us a like if you think we did a good job with this Tidbytes video. All right, thanks for tuning in guys. I'll see you in the not-too-distant future. Let's shut her down. And you want to know another fun thing that made its way into macOS? Oh, the beach ball of death! Except it's black and white in this version. <laughs> Please wait until it's safe to turn off the computer. I'm a rebel. I don't need to wait. And now it's safe. Goodbye. So that's a little bit of history there. Let's take a look at some... Let's take a look at some apps. Let's open up the calendar. So... That's not what that is. Oh, f <laughs> I accidentally, oh, f <laughs> oops, hang on, let me try that again.